السلام علیکم میڈ ایئر اسٹوڈنٹ کلاس الیون سبجیکٹ ہسٹری ٹوڈے وی ول ڈسکس دا افیکٹس آف رینسنس ایز ارلیئر وی ہیو لرنڈ اباؤٹ دا رینسنس یہ جو اسٹارٹڈ بائی مارٹن لوتھر دا کنگ آف جرمنی اینڈ سملرلی ہی انفوڈ دا سیڈ آف نیو ایج ایز رینسنس مینز نیو ایج ان دی European society and we find that large number of developments takes place during the time of renaissance as in the field of science, technology and similarly in the field of religion etc. Now today we will discuss what effects, what were the effects of renaissance during the period in the society. First Renaissance had far-reaching effects on the various aspects of the European society, especially in socio-religious. Number one is socio-religious. In socio-religious effects, we find a new spirit of humanism came into being, spirit of humanism. As before that, Churches, priests, papacy has destroyed the hum- humanism in Europe because of their selfish ends. They were grabbed whole the political, social, economic powers and the people were not considered better than animals. But the coming of Renaissance gave rise to the spirit of humanism. It was first and foremost effect of renaissance and second was that upliftment of women meant of women as these a papacy class clergy class did not marry and thus the women were not given uh, any social any social enhancement or she were considered uh, impure But it was the Renaissance who gave the upliftment of people and it uh, helped women to take trade and commerce, to take uh, go with their men in agriculture and other activities in the field of life. And similarly, declined the importance of church. Third was decline of the importance of church. The church who played very important role uh, in the early medieval period of Renaissance and were considered as the most important uh, most important um, religious religious place but the renaissance during the renaissance that it the importance of uh, relig- the importance of um, church was declined because now the people thought they can get salvation from their own they have no need of churches or clergy or papacy and second is point is cultural effects in cultural effects we find the development of literature takes place development of literature as we have already learned that literature learned that many books were translated into which were uh, belongs to arabian society arabian philosophers scholars are greek they were translated into um, into english literature and sample language so many we find that many books were translated into English literature which made it a tremendous development of literature in Europe and similarly development of fine arts arts crafts we find that arts and crafts were also developed during the time of renaissance Many fine arts were uh, taken place. It is development 
because the connection of trade which linked Europe to other parts of the world like Asia, Africa, America, it helped in their fine arts to develop it tremendously. And similarly, scientific inventions, this was most important. We find that many scientific inventions take place during the time of Renaissance because because scientific inventions we find that that the many developments take place we find that during time of Renaissance many uh, scientific inventions were made by these uh, by these great scholars or social reformers. And similarly, on the economic field, on the economic field, we find that development of trade and commerce takes place. Development of trade and commerce. Development of trade and commerce. Trade and commerce was flourished during the time of Renaissance. Because the it was uh, trade which helped Europeans to explore whole whole world, just like you are uh, maybe familiar that Vasco da Gama of Portugal, Columbus, Columbus of Spain, they were the people who explored the whole world from their navigation trip just like USA America was discovered and similarly India was discovered through sea route this was all because of the trade and commerce and it helped uh, Europe to take control over the trade on other parts of the world inputs of colonialism Inputs of colonism. This was another uh, great effect according to Europeans because we find that by this trade and commerce, when they got upper hand in trade and commerce, they colonized many parts of the world, just like America was colonized by British, similarly, Africa various parts of Africa, various parts of Asia, they were colonized by the European nations, especially England, France, uh, Spain, and, and Portugal. This was another effect of Renaissance, because the age of reason was set out in Europe, not in other parts of the world like Asia, Africa, or North America, South America. Thus, we find that the development of scientific technology, the uh, development of every field of life, helped Europeans to take control over the rest parts of the world and made them colonies, just like India was also colonized by British later on. Political effects, lastly, political effects. We find that rise of monarchy, strong, rise of strong monarchy. Before that, no doubt monarchy was rise of strong, no doubt before um, that there were monarchies, but they were people in the hands of papas, in the hands of clergymen or church. But now, the time was gone. Now these kings are monarchs. Monarch, uh, these kings became strong monarchs. They ordered the people and not and they were not accepted the authority, super authority of church and downfall of feudalism. Lastly, feudalism which was grabbed the whole European nations. It was this renaissance which ends the feudalism in Europe 
which was one of the most horrible um, system in which people were enslaved by these feudal lords and they were this feudalism divided the European nations into many small small parts but it was the Renaissance who wielded the whole European nations into one and gave them the sense of oneness. Thank you. This was all today's topic.